everyone. This is the start of the Python Basics tutorial series. Uh, where we're going over today is the Hello World program and basic strings and string manipulations in Python. So if you already have Python installed, in particular Anaconda, um, we're going to be opening up a Jupyter Notebook and going through Python Basics. If you don't, I'll leave links below to install Python on different operating systems, Mac, Ubuntu, and Windows. So if you're on a Mac, you have to open up a terminal. On a Windows, you'd open up a command line or an Anaconda prompt. And on Ubuntu, you'd open up a terminal. Um, so what we're going to be doing first is we'll be going to our desktop or wherever you want to open up your Jupyter Notebook. Um, so for me, I'm going to CD to my desktop. And I have um, my Python tutorial uh, notebook on my desktop. So I'm going to cd um, into the file, and the file I'm talking about is um, this one, which you can download from my GitHub, which I'll leave a link down below. Um, so I'm going to cd into this um, Python Basics um, tutorial series, and then I'm going to open up a Jupyter Notebook by typing Jupyter Notebook. Um, IPython Notebook will also work uh, for the time being. Okay. So Jupyter Notebook opens up this little screen, and you can either, if you're totally new and you have an, uh, an IPython Notebook with you already, you can do new and then um, choose Python Conda root or Python default, really anything you want. Okay, um, this tutorial isn't that complicated, so just about any Python version will work. Um, so what I'll do, since I have this notebook over here, I'm going to open it. And then I have my Python Basics IPython notebook. Okay? Um, so I love Jupyter because it's really nice for what I call reproducible research. Um, you can code, you can leave comments, you can leave links, you can embed HTML. It's really convenient. Um, you can navigate easily around IPython. Um, but right now we're going to be going over the Hello World program. Hello World is like the first program you ever do in any programming language. Um, so um, we'll be doing print hello world. We'll be printing a string basically. And then IPython, it's shift enter. And then we just print out our hello world. OK? Um, and in IPython, you can also do edit and then cut cells to remove a cell. OK? Um, what I'm highlighting right here is a comment. Uh, commenting is just good Python practice and good language practice in general. Um, it's important to note you can either do single or double quotes in Python, and they're equally as powerful. Um, and then same thing, you can run the cell, shift enter. Um, and now we're going to be going over just basic uh, escape characters in uh, strings. So. When you want to print out a string, sometimes you want to print something on two separate lines. Um, this slash, and I'll go over um, the power of an escape character in a second, um, basically means that we're going to escape the next letter, the next character. Um, so the slash n means we want a new line, and the slash t basically means you want a tab. So if you're saying to yourself, well, Michael, I can just, you know, press enter and have a new line, or I can just, you know, space three times or, you know, enter in a tab with my string. That's great. Um, sometimes you don't have that option, but the power of an escape character is really when you want to do something like, um, I, I'm going to the movies. Um, but what you see over here is this I am, I actually want to type um, I am, like the contraction I am. Um, but for some reason, Python is not allowing it. So you have your little slash over here, and that allows you to type I am going to the movies. And if you do shift enter, um, it allows you to type I am. And that's um, part of the power of it. Um, and then I have a couple examples, a couple more examples of, you know, basic string stuff. And what I really want to get into 
because we'll be manipulating strings in a second, is how to create a variable. So in Python, um, you use an equal sign to declare a variable or to initialize anything. Um, so I'm setting first variable equal to hello world, and then I'm going to print hello world. And then if you're saying to yourself, what's the value of this? Um, in programming, a lot of times you want to manipulate a variable, you want to do something to a variable you set, because you're not going to be just, you know, using print statements your, um, for your entire program. So what we're going into now are how to manipulate the strings that we make, okay? So in Python, strings are a bit special. They're a special type of class. And if you don't know what a class is right now, it's fine. But what you need to know is um, strings have uh, special methods to the string class. What that means is you can transform your current string. So I have this hello world variable, or this uh, first variable already declared. And originally it said hello world. But in Python, you can transform your variable. Um, this method um, basically just lower cases the entire string, um, upper uppercases the entire string, and title just makes the the first letter of each word uppercase. In Python, one of the real benefits is if you don't know what a method does, you can always look it up. So we have our first variable. Um, and let's say you don't know what lower means. Um, and you're just like, um, Michael, what does it do? You can Google it, or you can put a question mark after it, and then press Shift Enter, and then documentation will come up and tell you what the method lower does, which is very useful in any programming language. Um, so we're going to get into what lists are in a second, but there's a couple of handy methods that you're probably going to be using if you want to manipulate strings. One is the split method, where it basically transforms your string into a list. Um, and we'll go into what a list is later. Um, once you have a list, you can transform it back into a string. Um, you can also add strings together. Um, let's see if you can even multiply strings together. Python's a really powerful and intuitive language. Um, so you can do a lot of very cool things, like I just multiplied a string. And in a later part of our tutorial series, we're going to be going over uh, conditional logic, basically if, else if, and else statements. And what we'll be doing is a very simple problem called FizzBuzz. And we'll get into that in, I think, part three or part four of our tutorial series. Um, that's it for this part of the video. Uh, stay tuned for simple math in part two. Um, basically, you'll just be going over um, different mathematical manipulations you can do in Python. Uh, it'll be pretty simple. And that's it. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, if you have any installation issues, you can ask me as well. And that's it. Bye.